Hi and welcome back to Craft Resin. In this video we're diving into a key part of working with resin, the curing process. We'll explain how curing works, compare deep pour resin with one to one resin and share tips to ensure your project turns out perfectly. When you mix the resin and hardener a chemical reaction called polymerization occurs. This is what transforms the liquid resin into a solid material. During this process the resin generates heat, a natural part of the exothermic reaction. You might notice the resin getting warm as it cures and that is completely normal. Let's take a look at the two types of resin and how their curing processes differ. Deep pour resin is perfect for projects with thicker layers like small river tables or deeper moulds. Its longer 48 hour curing time ensures that heat builds up slowly preventing bubbles and cracks. On the other hand, arts and craft resin is better suited for surface level or smaller projects like coasters, jewellery or coatings. It cures much faster, typically within 24 hours and is best suited for layers between 5 and 6 millimetres. Since less resin is poured at once, it generates less heat and hardens smoothly without issues. Here are some tips to get the best curing results. Work at the right temperature, keeping your workspace between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. Stick to the correct mixing ratio, always follow the instructions and mix resin and hardener in the recommended proportions. Control the thickness of your pour. Thicker layers take longer to cure and can overheat if poured too quickly. By understanding how the curing process works you can avoid common mistakes and achieve smooth professional looking finishes every single time. Whether you're creating jewellery, coasters or deep resin art, mastering the curing process is your key to success.